It's a good thing since drop for drop, the coral's venom is perhaps the most toxic of any snake in North America. The coral snake is also a spectacularly beautiful snake. Its brilliant red, yellow, and black banding pattern is easily recognizable, and the well-known rhyme, red to yellow, kill a fellow, is a quick guide to tell if it's a coral. Watch as the coral bites. You will see just a drop of straw-colored venom. This tiny amount is in fact a lethal dose. Just four or five milligrams is probably enough to kill an adult. Wow. The coral snake is closely related to the cobras, mambas, and sea snakes. A member of the elaphid family, he has a small front thick spang, and although unable to penetrate sneakers, shoes, or perhaps even thick pants, the coral is a capable biter when he chooses to be. Perfectly able to bite a finger, hand, or any other part of the body. He has a powerful mouth and needle sharp fangs. Coral snake venom contains powerful neurotoxins capable of disrupting a victim's ability to breathe. Symptoms, which include difficulty in swallowing, difficulty in speaking, droopy eyelids, known as tosis, and eventually symptoms can be rapid and dramatic. Antivenom is extremely important in treating coral snake bites. Currently, there is no longer an antivenom for coral snakes produced in the United States. Fortunately, a Mexican antivenom, as well as several other foreign serums, do seem to be effective in treating the bites by the eastern coral snake. The coral snakes emit toxin are too fed a pre-measured high-protein diet with multivitamins added. Watch as the tube is gently inserted down the coral's throat and moved into the snake's stomach. A small amount of the food is pumped into the uh -huh.